So they started with a bit of a wobble, but they are now through to the semi-finals. We're talking about Spain after they oust past the Swiss. We'll tell you how we did it next. That's right, folks. Back once again with another match review. Looking back at the old quarterfinal match between Switzerland and Spain. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you do, where have you been, boys? Smash your subscribe button. Get your bang out to date with all things Switzerland related. You're 2020 rated, Spain related. We've got it all here under one Ruski. That's right. Spain took penalties. And of course, a red card to help them get through to the semi finals. But they are there after a very, very wobbly stop at start in the old Euro 2020 group stages, of course. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Big shout out to the VIPs. They are the patrons. Thank you for your continued support. And if you are new, smash the old subscribe. And of course, check out links in the old description so here we go let's take a look back at then shall we of course the stats and the figures and all the stuff that of course made up this game 1-1 one, one in the end uh, Dennis Shakira put the ball in his own net after a bit of a ricochet another own goal on the tally Jordan Shakira though made it a little bit of an uh, interesting match with a 68th minute uh, equaliser to give the Swiss a bit of something to shout about but a little bit of a madness went uh, 10 minutes later Roma Frula got himself straight red carded off he went uh, it might have been a bit harsh if you want to play those back have a look at it and let me know what you think about that red card in the old chat uh, down below uh, of course as for possession what well, by fact well, they so they had to play the rest of that 90 minutes which was about 13 minutes left to get themselves through uh, through to extra time which they did and they even managed to play that extra 30 minutes again uh, keeping Spain happy but only just though look at the possession and the stats here 72% possession going in favour of Spain just 28% going in favour of the Swiss uh, 28 uh, shots as well for the Spanish 10 of them on target 8 of them off target 10 of them were blocked by of course the goalkeepers defenders of course everyone uh, kitchen sink job uh, to try and defend uh, as they could. As for the Swiss, just eight shots for them, four of them off target, two of them on target, two of them were blocked. Uh, quite a lot of set pieces as well. 13 to 9 in corners going in favour of the Spanish. Uh, free kicks 15 to 13 as well. Uh, big chances missed. Uh, three from uh, from Spain. Big chances in total. Uh, they had three. So, the, you know, they, they missed all three of the big chances. Uh, passes, 970 for the Spanish. Oh my goodness, nearly a thousand passes. 881 were completed. 91% success rate. As for the Swiss, 369 for them. 261 complete. That's only 71% success rate. As for the error duels, they were won by Spain, Spain as well. Uh, but yes, yeah, so went to penalties. And again, Sommer was immense throughout the 120 minutes of uh, uh, traditional play. Uh, but when it came to penalties, it was all Spain. They make up ends. And of course, the Swiss go tumbling out. As you can see from the shot grid right here, right now, as you can see, there's a, quite a lot of shots within the box. Uh, what do we add on this? Shots inside the box. 22 shots out of 28 inside the box. And, and Sommer has been very, very active in saving all of them as well. Uh, uh, as for the, the Swiss, quite a few shots as well. I think of the eight, six of them were inside the box and two of them were long-range bad boys. As for the heat maps, as you can see, the Swiss goalkeeper, very, very busy. And again, when coming forward, more often than not, coming down this right-hand side, as you can see, quite a, a huge chunk of possession over here. As for the Spanish, again, they just covered every blade of grass um, and predominantly in the attacking third as well. Look at it. It's all orange. It should be dark red. That's how bad they, uh, how much possession they had. As for the touch map here, as you can see, the Swiss goalkeeper, again, a lot of touches. Again, trying to keep them in, in the game as he did uh, and he's very unlucky to be on the losing side as for Spain again down this right hand side a lot of touches a lot of possession and of course Spain uh, doing what they're doing best and that's possession based football as you can see here the starting lineup Zoma between the six of early Johnny Rodriguez made up your back three there Zakira Frula coming in midfield uh, Vidma Zubna as well with Shakiri and Bolo and Sefirovic up top as for Spain Unai Simon keeps him uh, spot at number one Paul Torres Emek Laporte as well Jordi Alba and Cesar Apachecha also at the back four. Busquets, Coque, Pedri in midfield, Pablo, Sarieva, Torres and Morata up top. He's not scoring goals, but he's in the winning team. And of course, uh, they keep on doing what they're doing right now. Spain, uh, of course, getting results in. As for the substitutions then, uh, Fabian Schaar did come on maybe to take a penalty, but I think he missed. Uh, Kevin and Bamboo as well. Dibajo So, uh, Christian Fasnak, Ruben Vargas and Mario Gagarovic up top. As for Spain, we saw Rodri, Thiago, Mocas Loriente, Deliomo, uh, Mika Olathra, who did score the winning penalty, and Gerard Mourinho as well. Let's take a look at the old situation of the old formations then. Uh, they said they got 4-2-3-1. Four, three, four, three, That's wrong. It's a three at the back, I think. Uh, and then a two in midfield. Uh, two in midfield and two out wide. So this formation, I think, I think that's wrong. That's a bag of shite, like that. They might have reverted back to that when they when they lost the 10-man uh, to go to 10-man. As for Spain, of course, 4-3-3. Three, three. Uh, the man of the match, Jürgen Sommer, Jan Sommer by a, a country bar, 9.3. Yeah, I've not seen a 9 in this whole Euros. As for Spain, of course, the main man, Pedro, is 7.8. Very, very good player for the future. 7.8 as well for, for Jordi Alba, teammates. Uh, Unai Sommer on the 7.6 as well. Down here, you can see the old timeline of events. 
So what's been said on social media? Let's take a look then, uh, shall we? Anna said, uh, Switzerland take the respect of football by reaching the quarterfinals. Be the first time in its history. And what a goalkeeper Jan Sommer is. One of the one of those who leaves their souls for their country. Uh, Halas, Halasnol says, Sommer deserved that Euro 2020 semi-final spot. The best goalkeeper performance for the Euros I have ever seen. Uh, XO, XPEA, Sommer deserved better. Indeed he did. Julian Kramer, what a Euro Switzerland, Switzerland has had. Congrats, Spain. Uh, Dimone Sinlila said, nothing but respect for Switzerland. Sebastian said the amount of luck that went with this, insane. Roland Adamakatsi said uh, uh, Switzerland played their hearts out. They should have won but that red card, goodness gracious me. Raul said Swiss team lost the match but one heart. Uh, DRMFCF 123 said lucky win and going to be exposed in the semi-final. That's of course what's been said on the Twitter sphere. Speaking of semi-finals, well here is the bracket as you as you may enjoy it right here right now. Of course Belgium's gone home uh, well we'll talk about that in a minute. Portugal gone home Austria as well. France has gone. Uh, Croatia and the Swiss have also packed their bags. On the other side, Sweden, Germany, uh, the Dutchies and the Welsh have gone home. Uh, OK, also today we did lose the Belgians and, of course, the Swiss. Now, to set up this banging semi-final, it is Italy, it is Spain. Who do you think is going to come out on top? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in your comment section down below as we look forward to the semi-finals coming at you next week. Be sure to give the video some love and smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe, check out the links down below on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, of course, Patreon as well. If you want to support the channel in another way, that's the best place to do it. But until then, what do you think about that? Can Spain go the distance? They started with a wobble, but now they are, of course, into the last four. Have they got the, what it takes to go the distance? They've been there before. They've won it as well. Can they do it again? We'll have a little look next time.